This is Intel's Wireless Resonant Energy Link, or as we like to call it, WORL. In this system, we have a set of transmitters, which are transmitting power into uh, the receiver that's on this side. This system uses uh, tightly magnetically coupled resonators so that power tra is transferred efficiently from the transmitter to the receiver, but is not transmitted to other devices or other objects in the environment. We're working on a lot of fundamental research topics in this area. There's still a lot of work to be done. Um, one is extending the range of the applicability of this. As you can see, there's, there's a range over which we can get very high efficiency power transfer. But when we think about applying this in, uh, in applications with laptops, with cell phones, um, we'll want to enable a longer distance over which we can transmit power. So this wireless power transfer mechanism is fundamentally different than the kinds of mechanisms that are used in power surfaces or power mats or that you might be familiar with from uh, uh, battery chargers for wireless toothbrushes. All of those, all of those devices is a mechanism that requires very proximal contact. So the device that's being charged has to be right on top of the charger. With this technology, we can actually move the device that uh, is to be charged much farther away from the charging surface. And so you can envision scenarios where you can move around within a space and still maintain contact with your wireless power source. We envision several scenarios where this technology may be applicable. Uh, in one scenario, we think of the laptop as a power source for devices in its environment. So that could be peripheral devices like mouses and keyboards, but it could also be devices like cell phones that you may have either on your person or on your desk. And this would allow those devices to charge seamlessly without having to plug them in in your desk environment. We also think of uh, larger environments that could be supplied wirelessly with power. And in those scenarios, then we think of the laptop as being the receiver, as well as cell phones and other household electronics or appliances. 